Every day, late at night, not okay All I want and I pray All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go by So guys, I just taught my students how to achieve a gathered neckline How to add fullness to your neckline Or how to achieve a plated neckline using a dart manipulation method so i was like this would be very interesting putting down this tutorial here i believe that you guys will find this tutorial very very helpful so guys if you are seeing this video and if you've not liked this video please kindly do so this will really mean a lot to me to my new subscribers i'm so grateful you are welcome to vivian bernard sewing tutorial to my returning subscribers, I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. So this tutorial is very, very detailed. All you have to do is to watch to the end, okay? I believe that you found it very, very helpful. And if you have any question in the course of watching this tutorial, kindly drop your questions on the comment section. I will attend to that. All right, guys, let's get started. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. So guys, what we want to achieve in this tutorial today is to achieve a gathered neckline using a dart manipulation method. So dart manipulation just simply means moving your dart from one point to another point, okay? So we make sure that we achieve a gathered neckline and using a dart manipulation. So we are making sure that our dart is still intact so as to have that boss cup still intact and that is what we are going to be doing in this tutorial so you can see that i've already folded this my paper so my paper is on fold okay so because i want to achieve a body that is open so i'm drafting this pattern on fold so the first thing i'm going to do is to come down by one inch from the edge of my paper and that will serve as the shoulder line So this is my shoulder line. And from that point, I'm just going to mark half of my shoulder measurement, which is 7.5. And I will also mark the neck width and the neck depth. So I'm using 3 by 3 inches. So from the shoulder slant, I'm simply coming down by one inch. So from this point, I will mark my chest line. So my chest line is 7.5 plus the shoulder slant is 8.5. So I'll mark it like so. So I'm marking 8.5 like so. simply bringing down whatever I have at the shoulder line to the chest line so that way I'm going to connect these two points to form my armhole so to connect the armhole line I'm simply getting the midpoint of this and I will come in by half inch and from this point I will mark a diagonal line like so and from this point, I'm coming out by half inch. Then I will get my curl ruler and I will connect my armhole like so. For the neckline, I'm simply going to come out by 0 0.75 so I can connect my neckline. 
so after that i'm going to measure the bust point from the shoulder line so my bust point is 10 inches so i'm marking 10 inches from the shoulder line so this is my chest line this is my bust point so the next i'm going to mark is my front length so my front length is 16.5 so after that i'm just going to mark my darts my bust radius so i'm just marking 3.5 and I'll connect the line to form my dart line. That is where I'm going to input my dart. So after that, I'm going to come down by one inch from the bust point. And at the waistline, I'm taking 0 0.5 inch on each side of the dart line. So the total of my dart is 1.5. So I'm going to connect it. So at the waistline, I took... 0 0.75 inch that is three quarter on each side of the dart line and then i'm connecting it like that so at the chest line i'm marking my boss circumference divided by four i have nine inches at the waistline my waist circumference divided by four i have seven inches plus 1.5 inches that's allowance I'm going to connect it like so. So after that, I'm going to mark 2.5 inches downward from the bust point line and I'll connect it back to the bust point. That will serve as my bust part, okay? So this 2.5 inches is the difference between my front length and back length but what i'm drafting here only is the front body so if you want to learn how to draft these full scale bodies is on my tutorial i'll be linking it down below okay so so this will be my boss that so the next thing i'm going to do is to trace this line so that it can appear on the folded part So if I trace it, it's going to appear on the folded part so that I will use my pencil to retrace it back. So I'm also tracing all lines. Pressing every line so it can appear the same way it appears here. I'm just going to open it up so you can see when I open it up, I'm going to use my ruler to we trace all lines that way we have our half bodies so this one is no longer in in quarter it's now in half I didn't trace the boss that so I will have to trace the boss that 
very important. So can you see how it looks like very simple and easy so the next thing i'm going to do now is to manipulate the darts okay so that we can get our desired gathered neckline okay so i want this that to be still intact but i don't want after you know creating a fullness here i will come back and be holding that so i want to use that manipulation method to add the fullness so i'm going to move this that to the neckline in order to add that fullness we desire so that is what we want to achieve here so the first thing i'm going to do is to mark my style line so i'm i mark three inches on the neckline like so so i'm going to connect it to the boss point this is the original boss point so i'm going to connect it to the bust points can you see that that's the first step so the thing that you are going to know about that manipulation is that if you want to move a particular dart away in order to to the line that you want to slash it must it must touch the bust point it's very very important so if i mark this line and it's not on the it's not you know connecting to the bust point then that means it's not that manipulation and it's not going to work so it's very important so i'm going to mark this line to the bust point and i'm also going to connect this line to the bust point so you should note that one important thing about that manipulation is that any style line that you want to move your dad to must connect to the boss point so if it doesn't connect to the boss point that means it can't work you can't move your dart to that style line it's not possible so that is the main point you should get in this tutorial all right so let's proceed so having connected this line i'm going to open up this dart okay so i'm going to open up this dart so that i'm going to transfer these two dots up here and i'm also going to transfer these two dots up here but before then let me cut out my pattern So I'm going to mark the middle point of my boss that because that is where I'm going to be opening. Okay, so I'll do the same thing on the other side. So having done that, I'm going to open up this part. So I'm going to cut it up to the boss point. Okay. So you should stop at the bus point and I'm also going to cut 
the bust that too so it's going to stop at the bust point so having done that so i'm going to when i close this when i close this bust that before i close the bust that i'm going to close the waist that so closing the waist that means that i'm transferring the waist that to the bust that so i'm going to close the waist that first of all I'm going to get my paper tape and secure it. So closing it means that I've transferred the waist that to the side bust that. Can you see that? Can you see that the side bust that is open because I closed the waist that. So this open means that I, this that that is supposed to be here is transferred here. So you can see that I can't close there if I didn't open. If I don't open up this tie line that I draw all the way to the bust point. So I'm going to open up this tie line that connects to the bust point so that I can transfer both the bust that and the waist that that is here up to here. You can see that here we open. So you see the magic now. I'm going to open it up. So you can see that our tie line is connecting to the bust point. So if even that it does not connect to the boss point, that means we are it's not possible to transfer this boss that here. Yeah, so that's one thing you should know. So I'm going to close up this boss that now. So I'm going to use my paper tape to secure it. So can you see that automatically here is opened? So meaning that we've transferred the waist that and the bust that on the neckline, giving us the fullness that, the, that we wanted to add at the neckline. So I'm going to do basically the same thing at this side. It's as simple as ABC. So I'm going to open up the waist that and I will stop at least 0 0.125 before the bust point. So you are not cutting through your bust point. So you are also going to open up this. So after that, you are going to close your waist that. So when you close it, you are going to get your paper tape to secure it. So you can see once you close it, the waist that is being transferred here. So this is my waist that you can see it. So the next thing now is to open the style line I connected to the bust point. So when I open it, I can now be able to close the bust that. So you can see. So can you see how beautiful that manipulation is? It allow you manipulate your darts. It will allow you create your design, having your darts still intact, having your bust cup still intact. So can you see now? We've we've manipulated our darts now. We've transferred our bust darts and waist darts to the neckline because we want to achieve a gather effect at the neckline. So what I'm going to do now is to place a fresh paper under like this so it's going to be like this so i also use my paper tape to secure them Also going to place the paper under like so. Now use my paper tape to secure it. So can you see how simple is this? So if you even still want more fullness around the neckline, you can still slash here and you know open it up but i think this is really okay so i can now so before 
you are going to cut out the excess just make sure that you fold this over okay it's important that you fold it over so you don't you know so you don't make the mistake of cutting out excess so i'm just trying to find my way even though so can you see that the boss point is not the last one. so this is our boss cup i don't know if you can see this very well so can you see that the boss area has risen so this is the cup this place is giving us the allowance where the boss is going to be when you close this automatically so you see how we secure our boss area so when i fold it like this i'm just going to trace around the neckline or i'm just going to cut it just like this so let me just you know use my paper tape to secure it first so i'll also do the same thing for this so just going to find my way to make it relax So when I close this, automatically the bust area is going to, you know, rise. So it's now giving us allowance where the bust is going to stay. So that manipulation is really sweet. <laughs> so guys, if you've not yet liked this video, please like this video. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel please kindly subscribe this will really mean a lot to me guys so you can see that you can see that this has already given us a room where the bus is going to be can you see that so sweet guys <laughs> so this is all about that manipulation so you can decide to pleat it back when you cut it or you can decide to gather it back okay now before i'm going to open it up let me just measure the total inches I have at the neckline so that I can be able to gather it back to the same size. So I have 11 inches here. I'm going to write it down, 11 inches. So I can now open it up now. So, but can you see, this is so beautiful, guys. This is how it's going to be when you sew it. So beautiful. So the essence of that manipulation is just to move your that around is to use your that to create your style line so you can't have a a slash line here and still come back to holding your that so that won't be nice so that manipulation is really sweet so i think this is is on cord so can you see that now so the next thing i'm going to do is just to place it on my fabric and cut it the way it is so when i cut it i'm just going to gather the neckline back to the initial size which is 11 inches and voila that is it guys that is it that is it guys i'm really really happy about this tutorial and i hope you guys really gained a lot in this tutorial so let me know on the comment section if you have any question about this particular tutorial i will attend to that all right guys i will see you in the next one bye